Hello everybody, Peter of England here. Um, this short video, three minutes or so in duration, uh, is going to now help all those out there who've joined with us to reconcile the idea behind the checks, the LLTs and the planetary payment card. Because some people are of the opinion that, oh, well we haven't had great success with the LLTs, then why on earth should we go down the card route? Now, please bear in mind, every check that was ever sent out from you with a Weir Bank logo on it, any LLT that was ever offered to a payee has not only cleared, but has been paid. Now, whether or not the payee will recognize the fact that funds have been transferred into his account is irrelevant. You have acted in honor. Sections 42, 43 of the Bills of Exchange Act 1882 specifically mention, specifically provide for presentment and also acceptance. Now, you cannot be held responsible if the banks, in collusion with um, the global banking cartels, are deliberately occluding and colluding to prevent we are banks financial instruments which are your financial instruments after all from going through their system and being cleared the only question that should ever be asked of the bank from the payee when he's trying to put that check or llt in is what are the banks looking for are they looking for money or is there an alternative agenda the one thing is unquestionable here because the SMA in Austria, the New Zealand Ombudsman, the Ombudsman in the United Kingdom, the FCA and the courts in not only uh, South Africa but in Austria, Germany and in Canada have all irrevocably concluded that the promissory notes that you signed and delivered to Weirbank are lawful, enforceable, legal financial instruments. Now if that's the case, then how can anything therefore subtended or attached be check fraud or check betrug or any other type of confidence trick? They simply cannot be. So always ask them to address the fact of, is the promissory note valid? If the promissory notes are not valid, then we will walk away from the table. If the promissory notes are valid, we will not. So, if the promissory notes are invalid, we have nothing to discuss. However, the last time I checked, there was not two types of promise recognizable on this planet Earth. So, that's the idea behind the battle that we have faced so far. As the banking system has refused to work with us when we are trying to put uh, extra, should we say, liquidity into the market, then we are forced now to go to stage three, which is in effect we use our own currency. So for everybody out there who wants to look at a financial future where there is no inflation, there is no taxation, there is no interest payment, where you can build real meaningful wealth over time, then there is no option, I assure you. The side of the riverbank that you might wish to stay on is the existing one the freedom and the ability to choose and have your own currency, which is timeless, is offered to you through Weir Bank. So please now come onto the website, join, and let's together make a real and effective change. You can't do it by demonstrating in the street. You can do it with a pen and you can now do it with a stored value currency card denominated in re. Thank you.